Okay, hello guys. Uh, welcome again to another Python tutorial video in our Python tutorial series on the Python module Colorama. That's a whole lot of Python. I don't know about you, but I mean, to me, that seems like a whole lot of Python. Whatever, that's a good thing though. Python's awesome and Colorama is awesome. And we're going to keep jumping into it in today. What? Whatever. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Now, I know what you're thinking. I know what you've been saying all along throughout this entire video series. You've been thinking in your head, Dude, John, this is, this is incredible. This is crazy. I can change the color of things, and I can change them in multiple times and ways, and it's amazing. I just can't even handle I can't even speak about how amazing this, this module is. And I, I, I agree with you 100%. But let me tell you, there is more. You can do more. And I know how much you hate me telling you that, because then you have to keep learning, and, you know, it's like school all over again. But anyway, this is kind of cool. You're playing with it once more, and we've been al always trying to be looking at things with this uh, back selector or the forward selector, and then we can use the color that we're actually going to be changing the font or the background to. Like, you know, the, the foreground text, the background text, the color of the text. So we've been working with that in the last couple of videos, but we have one more thing that we can work with. And this line has gotten pretty gosh darn humongous, so I'm going to stop working with this line, and I'm going to go and head and create a new print statement right above it. And this is where I want to introduce something new to you guys for this video. Now what we're going to look at is style. And style is what allows you to determine uh, whether or not the text will do something different, whether it'll be dim text, whether you won't be able to see it as much as normal. And normal is a key word here. Style can be normal and that sort of thing. If I get Firefox open and I actually uh, go back to that Python, uh, wow, I can never type that correctly, Colorama page in the Python package index, you can again see all the style that we can do. I think it's Colorama.style. There it is. Now, I might have to scroll through it a bit. You know, I'll display it here. Style.dim, style.resetAll. We can do a lot of different things here. Style can be dim, normal, bright, and reset all. Okay, so let's work with those. Let's do style.normal for now. And you're probably realizing that, yeah, this isn't going to do a whole lot. If I were to run this code, you don't see any difference. Oh, I'm sorry. This has to be capitalized. That's actually a good point, though. Keep in mind that everything that you write preceding anything in Colorama has to be in all capital letters. Like if you're defining a color or an attribute for the style, it's got to be uh, a specified thing here. So This is colored text and more. And uh, there's nothing up here. There's no change. This is all still normal text, as we've seen previously. There is a new line character, though, only because that's what the print function does. I think I might actually put a comma here and stop it from creating a new line. But we've looked at style normal. I mean, that's what we've been seeing all along. But we want to actually keep looking at this. What do we have here? We've got dim. Let's take a look at that. Style.dim. We can run that. This is colored text and more. And it's kind of interesting, because right now, everything is underlined. You see that? So even with style dim, our text is underlined, so it's doing a completely different style, but it's still something that we are able to work with later on down the line. Like, now you may know that, hey, you can use this functionality to actually underline the text that you're working with. So that's kind of nice. It may not, the text may not be all that dim, but it's still changing the way that you see the, the font. Okay. Enough of that, though. Clear that out. And we can do style even bright. And I think I'll copy and paste this actually, just so we see it as bright and as it in normal. Now if I run this, we can see this is colored text and more. And you can see that this, the ones up top, these are bold. They're like a little bit brighter in a sense. It's typically just bold lettering with a stronger color and more depth to the characters, the text itself, but it's bold. <laughs> like, what, what more is there to it? It's brighter than what you would typically see. So that's interesting style manipulation. That's changing the way that you see the text inside your program. And of course, we have reset all, which will typically reset everything just like for dot reset would do or back dot reset would do. It's just going back to what it was initially. 
So that's very simple, that's very easy, but you guys do have some options here. You have plenty of things to be able to manipulate and play with throughout this Colorama module. It's just being able to know what the syntax is. I mean, it's, it's an easy enough syntax, but you have to keep in mind all the colors that you have access to. Like, you have some options, you can have at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different colors to be able to work with, and you can determine signals and like codes or whatever you actually mean when you're writing your program with these colors. So, uh, there you go, guys. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. I know it's very, very simple and kind of fundamental and basic, pretty trivial, but it's helpful. This is a really, really cool module, and I can't stress that enough. Okay, thanks again, though, and I'll talk to you again. Toodaloo!